everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. I'm sorry about the noise. I hope you guys can't hear like all this banging, but there's actually some construction that they're doing um, near my house. So hopefully it's not too noisy. But anyway, today I'm actually going to be doing a highly requested video. It's going to be Jin of BTS. Um, this is going to be a general reading, reading off of his current energy. And as usual, I just like to say that I'm not gonna divulge too much into his personal life, just out of respect for him and for whomever I'm doing a reading about in the future. Um, but before anything, I just wanna say I'm like looking at his photo right now because that's how I channel energy and he has a very, very gentle energy about him. So I'm excited to do this reading. But yeah, um, without further ado, let's just get started. Hi guys. So we have three major arcana cards come out here regarding his personality. So I'm going to get straight into it. But he has a very strong like personality. And when I say strong, it doesn't mean like fierce. But his personality is very much um, been very consistent from, from, from a young age, I feel like. So he's someone who likes to daydream quite a bit. He sometimes... Um, escapes to his fantasy world he i feel like a lot of people sometimes go like yo what are you doing because it seems like he's zoned out but he's not he's just daydreaming he's just creating this 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 dreamlike world that he wants to, to make reality really um he's very talented he's very smart i can see here that he's very inquisitive very curious about a lot of different things um, he knows a lot of things. He loves to share his knowledge with the people around him. He also is very good at giving guidance and counsel. Um, and I can tell that he's someone who's actually quite... He has very traditional beliefs, basically, is what I'm trying to say. He has traditional values, so he knows how he wants to raise his children. He knows um, what kind of family he'd like to have, you know, in the future, things like that. He just has very traditional values. He's also someone who's very passionate and ambitious, although he doesn't really like to show this side of him <laughs> a lot. He likes to show a more easygoing person or like gentle person, but he's actually quite ambitious. But yeah, he's a very kind person. So I thought we should switch it up and see um, through Oracle, what he wants to achieve in 2021. What is the one thing that he truly craves right now? What's something that Jin craves in 2021? Oops. Hmm. Mm hmm. So I almost feel like 2020, you guys, as I mentioned in my BTS reading um, for 2021, I got a message then that Jin needed a lot of love because I feel like he's just going through um, quite a bit. And as you can see here, what he wants in 2021 is healing the past and renewing his life. Um, I feel like 2020 was a very, very difficult year for him. That's something that I sense from a while ago when I was doing BTS's um reading so he wants to heal from a lot of things that have um kind of held him back in 2020 he also wants to, it's funny because we have the magician and he wants to believe in magic uh, he wants to manifest a lot of things in life 2020 i'm gonna be honest with you guys um feels like a very difficult year for him but it's also the year where he lost a lot of himself and when i say a lot of himself it's like a lot of his personality a lot of who he was um he became very anxious or questioned things and things like that. He wants to become the old him again, the core him, the one I said is the magician, the one who is very great at manifesting his dreams, the person who is very ambitious, the person who is very passionate about his craft and things like that. So he wants to go back to the old Jin again. He wants to heal from a lot of the things that have happened. He wants to get rid of clutter in his life. And when I say clutter, it's also old ways of thinking, ways of thinking that are detrimental to him that no longer work for him because I keep seeing the eight of swords in my mind. 
so I keep seeing it's almost like um, sometimes the way he thinks is detrimental and he creates problems for himself as in he's so negative on himself he's so hard on himself that it truly um, affects, him, affects him in a difficult way I also sense that there's someone he wants to reconnect with we have hearing messages from spirit so um, I feel like he is, there is someone out there he wants to reconnect with and this doesn't have to necessarily be a love connection or anything like that. It could be a friendship, it could be a family member or something like that. So I am sensing that he wants that in 2021. So let's see what else is happening for Jin in 2021. What blessings are coming? His eyes are like very, very... um. So like, oh my gosh, I said I kept sensing the Eight of Swords and we have the Eight of Swords jump out here and it's in reverse, you guys. This is so amazing. Like I said before, I kept sensing the Eight of Swords and it's the it's feeling like, you know, he, he, he creates these situations for himself because of just old thought patterns that don't work for him and he wants to reverse that. He wants 2021 to be a year where he um, lets down his guard, he becomes more positive, he does not listen, he blocks out, blocks out bad and negative thought processes that, that bring him down because he's amazing. I can tell he's very talented, I can tell he's very kind, I can see there's a lot of blessings coming into his life but it almost feels like this negativity this energy that was surrounding him that he created for himself was blocking so much from coming down his path so he's reversing a lot of those things in 2021 so things are about to flow abundantly into his life again so i see that 2021 is going to be a big year for him in terms of his career and in terms of money because i can see here the ace of pentacles and you can see here um with the hedges there's a doorway right so a lot of the things that he was blocking is about to flow abundantly into his life he's going to be more direct he's going to take control of his finances he's going to take control of his career i feel like he took a little bit of a back burner last year but he's about to step into that role again um he's going to be very clear he's going to have a kind of like leadership tone and he's going to present a lot of great ideas that are going to be beneficial for the group too so let's see what else is happening so career wise and mentally you know like everything is going to be a lot better than 2020 i am so happy to see that he's realizing um the things that no didn't work for him that were detrimental to him and he's going to try and be better oops oops Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. So first of all, like I mentioned, financially, everything is going to be great. Um, but then we have the Ten of Cups. And you know the Ten of Cups? One of my favorite cards ever is all about happy endings, being in, um, being so emotionally fulfilled, being loved by the people who surround us and also get, like receiving love and giving love abundantly i felt like he had a blockage in his heart chakra and i feel like this year he's truly healing himself he's healing himself he's healing the past he's becoming the person who he used to be and even better you know so i feel like this year in particular he's going to receive so much love from the people around him but he might also meet the one or you know like Let's get to that in a little bit, but uh, what I'm saying is that this year is going to be a year, an amazing year for his relationships because we have the Ten of Cups and then we have the Ten of Pentacles. So he's building solid foundations in terms of friendships as well as love relationships. So like I said, he's someone who has very traditional values and someone who has very clear ideas about what he wants um, in regards to a family, a wife, things like that. And I feel like he's going to be one step closer to that just because I see this guys so mm -hmm. also we have the nine of cups he's gonna be so happy this year i feel like he hasn't felt like himself in a very long time and he hasn't had a good year in a very long time and 2021 i mean with all this can you guys see this this is already like oh my gosh um so many abundances coming his way so many financial gain so 
much love that he's going to be able to accept as well as return we have the three of wands here so he's going to i almost feel like he's looking at the next step like um what should i do i feel like there's a little bit of movement too he might move somewhere or go somewhere he might move houses or live somewhere else for a while something like that sorry i'm just getting a lot of uh, different um, a lot of random information but um, what's important is that he's getting excited again about what's next because I feel like in in the beginning of the reading as well as um, last year I feel like it's almost as if he was feeling bored and apathetic about his life just kind of like ah eh, whatever he wasn't excited about it and I feel like he's getting excited again which is great he also has a lot of great ideas a lot of things um, that are coming his way in terms of career. So let's see what else is happening for Jin in 2021. Also, let's find out a little bit more about this relationship. Oops. <laughs> the guides are excited to talk about the relationship, apparently. Okay. Let's find out more. Okay. So it's almost as if they know each other from work. Okay, so um, this person came and helped him in a time when he was going through a lot. This card follows every BTS <laughs> reading I do. Um, as I mentioned in all my BTS readings, 2020 wasn't such a great year for them. Um, actually, the last few years wasn't so great in terms of their relationship. There was a lot of just discord happening. Um, just a lot of, difference of uh, differences of opinions, a lot of fighting, a lot of not getting along and things like that. So um, he felt quite alone. He felt quite isolated at some point. And this person came into his life and helped him. Um, and when I say helped him, you know, like um, this person feels very secure. This person feels real, um, tangible. Someone who was there to give advice someone who was there for a shoulder to cry on and things like that so he values this person very much it almost feels as if um he's so scared to let this person go and i feel like they kind of know each other from work um so like they met through work that's what i'm trying to say so obviously he knows this person already they're already close and things like that so she, so this person was there for him during the time when he needed someone the most and he's very 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 protective of this person very protective he's very scared of losing them so hmm, this is interesting because he's so scared of losing them but then we have the ten of cups so maybe he, he might put a ring on it i don't know <laughs> oh my gosh uh, you guys i don't want to break too many hearts but he might he might just put a ring on it um and we have the death card here so he might say goodbye to single life and put a ring on it but i don't know this is just what the cards are saying um but yeah so <laughs> okay so we have the world here and we have the knight of swords so i feel like because the knight of swords um knight of swords did you want to be reversed or did you want to be upright let's get to that in a little bit but when I asked about the ring, we have the Knight of Pentacles, so it does make me feel like he's going to propose something to them that is tangible. So it could be a proposal of some sort, as well as because we have the death, so it's an ending to a period of his life. So he might very well get engaged or propose or something like that towards the end of the year. Also because we have the world, and the world is the 21st Major Arcana card, so 2021, so I feel like it's a confirmation that that might happen. The world might be opening up to him this year. We have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords was kind of like this, so I'm not sure whether it wanted to go upright or reversed, but from my, um, from my intuition, it wanted to go reversed. So the thing with the knight of swords is that sometimes it can attack you so i feel like this is something that he will want to protect very much and will try to be very discreet about because he doesn't want people to obviously um attack this person or know much about this relationship and things like that so i feel like this is going to be something that he will do on the down low and yeah but 
<laughs> this is a big year for Jen. Anyway, so let's finish off the reading. Let's see what else is gonna bring. Oh, so many cards jumped out, you guys. Sorry, one second. Let me just take another card. Okay, so we have the Five of Cups, we have the Devil, and we have Strength. So this is how 2021 is going to be for Jin. This is the final cards that the guides want to give. He's going to start off the year feeling down. Like I mentioned, he hasn't been himself and things like that. But these thought processes have chained him, have really held him back from... Um, Becoming the person who one he's meant to be but also from truly enjoying his life he hasn't been enjoying his life for a very long time but by the end of this year he's going to be stronger than ever and he's also going to be so nurturing and so open to love like i mentioned before i feel like his heart chakra has been closed so he's been having a very difficult time opening up to people as well as receiving and giving love so he's going to be very nurturing very kind i feel like the eighth so august of um august of 2021 is gonna be a big year for him um it's just something i sense yes so he's this year he's truly going to savor all the different things in life he's gonna embrace bliss he's going to be thankful he's gonna be open to a lot of different um experiences he's just going to be letting himself live to the fullest and then we have receiving from angels and this card is all about opening themselves to love receiving love and things like that so it's just confirmation that this year in particular is a big year in terms of his relationship with himself in terms of his relationship with other people but also opening himself up to all the possibilities in the world so this is a big year you guys this is so good a lot of endings a lot of new beginnings a lot a lot of things in terms of his career and his relationship so yeah i'm excited but i hope you guys enjoyed this reading Ta -da! if you guys did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and yeah i hope i'll see you in my next one bye